Hello everyone, this is Warpster77 tuning into another video, and today I am going to be doing a bit of a different kind of video. Well, not so much a different kind, but one that I haven't done in a very, 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 very long time. And in the spirit of the after holidays coming to the New Year's, it's been a while since this update, if you will, and many things have changed, including adding more weapons. So... Out of the god knows how many weapons there are in this entire game, I'm going to list my top 12 weapons, their uses, and kind of their attachments slash setups. And I've already done some of the SMG 101s, and I'm going to continue that series once more. But I'm going to be talking about my top 12, I guess not favorite, but most commonly used weapons that I have. Uh, purposes for. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Coming in at number 12, we have the Remington 700. Now how I used to use this before the update had it so that you could have a laser back on it, I used to use a delta sight. But now that I can see the laser through the scope once more, I don't really have a purpose for it. But when I did use it with the delta sight, I got in a lot more closer for engagements and other cool types of uh, strategies. So. For anyone who wants to get up close or is commonly being rushed a lot, just put on a delta sight. I just use a laser because it helps me gauge distances when I'm long range sniping. So the reason why I prefer the Remington 700 or really that sniper rifle over the other four is because it has a much faster fire rate, does almost practically the same amount of damage. Either you're going to get an insta kill or not. That's the reality of it. and. The BFG doesn't reload fast enough, the Mosin doesn't do enough damage, really, and the Intervention, it's a bit slower. So this is kind of like my own optimal choice for how I snipe because I do miss a lot, so it gets that reload really quick while still offering me that same damage. But the Mosin's not far away, the difference is that it's less accurate, whereas I can sidestep with the Remington and not have to bounce my goddamn gun up and down. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Number 11 is the SKS. Now, this thing got buffed, I know, but it's always been some kind of a weapon that I've used on Rabod a little bit. A little bit. Not really too much, but more or less I've been using it a bit more frequently. It's just, it's kind of fun to use when I am rooftop shooting or just kind of meandering about it keeps a consistent damage now so it's always kind of gonna be either a three to four hit kill so yeah it's pretty good I like it a lot I can get pretty accurate shots on it I use the ACOG and Delta sight because the laser is kind of redundant I can just shoot until I hit something and the laser doesn't really add that much accuracy to it I do not use a barrel on this because all barrel attachments either come at, like, it excels in one field, but then it damages it in the other, and I like its well-roundedness, so I don't even add, like, a compensator or anything. A flash hider doesn't really do that much to it, except it lowers the stability, but, meh. I like my setup, preferably with the vertical grip, it, I, it gives it a bit more stability and keeps it firing consistently. And that's about it for this one. Alright, on to number 10. At number 10, my Suramaher, or SR3M. Now, I really like this weapon because it's kind of like an AS Val, but a bit better. And I do enjoy the AS Val, but I like this one better for its option on options that it gives to me. And it basically has the same fire rate. It just has less recoil. It's optimal. It's better than the AS Val for range and distance. But the AS Val is like the SD variant, so it's it's kind of up in the air. It depends on what you're going for. And I do use the AS Val quite a bit. So it's kind of like what is your preference in this case. And I prefer the Suramaher. AS Val is really nice. It's just I like the ability to not have my screen have an earthquake every time I shoot someone. But this one still makes it have an earthquake, just not at that extreme. It's light, it's efficient, it picks up M4 bullets, which is more common than assault rifle bullets, so I will take this one as well. And the reason I don't have an underbarrel is because the compensator kind of takes away from that recoil anyway, and the um, 
the ADS speed is much faster, and for a gun like this, a striking weapon, ADS speed is important. So, I'll take this one. Up next is number 9. My number 9 pick is the UMP45. Now the reason why I really, really, really enjoy this weapon is because that I can get in and out and have a lot of diversity with a consistency and damage of anywhere from 3 uh, a three hit kill to about a 5. Unless I put on a suppressor which makes it 6. Which isn't that bad at distance. A 3 to 6 ratio is not bad at all compared to other things where it drops a 4 or etc etc. So, I really enjoy this for a light infantry weapon that gets me undercover, or it's a it's a, my preferred pickup weapon for like an SMG, maybe the MB7 as well. But I like the ump because it's a powerhouse. It doesn't fire fast, but it doesn't necessarily have to fire fast. It kills really quickly as it is with just three bullets. And the attachments, you can put practically anything on this. There was a time where you could just put on a VCOG and just snipe away. So, as you can see, I do use it quite frequently and I really, really enjoy this SMG. Up next is number 8. My number 8 pick is the L86 LSW, which is... Uh, it's an all-around pretty good... Uh, LMG. It doesn't fire necessarily the fastest, but it doesn't really have to. It has an impressive kill ratio <laughs> of just utter destruction. Now, the range is minimal. Eh, like, the damage drop off is pretty quick, but it's going to basically always be a consistent tool, mm, four hit kill, which is something I can get behind. And then close range of just blast them. Three hit kill, done. It's just like that. UMP and also like the UMP you can put on a lot of attachments and it'll still do the same result My favorite one though is a Mars muzzle brake vertical grip and a laser just for more accuracy because I can snipe across the map with this Even with the low powered sight. I don't like to put too high of magnification sights on this because I don't really see a point I'll just get up close with it since it's pretty light for what it is and it reloads quickly That's the important part is that it reloads pretty quickly other than that, um, I use, I've used it just about as much as the AUG bar. I think, yeah, I've used the AUG bar a little bit more, but I use the bar a bit differently. I use it more as a squad to play weapon. This one, I, the L86, I use a bit more for holding positions. So, I'm not really seeking as much, and I try and stay as mobile as little as possible when I'm using this weapon. But... If I do have to move, I am able to move. That's that's what I, what's important. Same with the bar. You can move when you need to move. But anyway, on to number seven. Number seven is the Scar H. This weapon is another all-around, very heavy-hitting, high-firepower weapon. Anywhere from a three to a four-hit kill gun. Hell, I've gotten two hit kills with if you get two headshots. Even with a suppressor, it's very, very, very powerful. And I really, really, really enjoy the adaptability that this gun has. Now, the recoil is high, but you can still manage to equivalent it if you have a lot of variability in attachments, such as, uh, here, I'll show you. I have a different Scar H for each class. This one is kind of my long range class. Or, no, this is my all around medium class. And then on my scout, I have the... Oh, that's right. Didn't have one. On my support, I have my suppressive one. And then on my recon, I have my long... Uh, oh, shit. Where did the glass go? This one's supposed to be my long-range one. So, puts on a uh, PKAS. And then we got muzzle brake, under barrel, folding grip, and then a laser. Bada boopy. Ta-da! But anyway, I really enjoy this gun because it's reliable, it reloads fast, it's powerful, it can punch through walls effectively. And that's another thing that's important that the Scar Hammer can't really do is that it can't wall bang really well. But the fire rate is just right for me. I have a lot of experience with this weapon and I enjoy it indefinitely. Anyway, on to my number sixth six. favorite gun is the M9. Now, I really enjoy this gun because it's always reliable, it's dependable. I have sniped with it for a long time, very long time. It's been 
It's been my pistol. Eh, it's kind of served its time, but I still use it on my scout class, mainly for the SMGs because it can allow me to snipe, and if I do get snuck up on, I could just three-shot them really, really quickly. Holds a lot of bullets. It's accurate. It uh, um, The range is pretty decent. It outmatches a Glock, in my opinion. And the fire rate... I don't really believe because it's a semi-automatic pistol. It just depends on how fast you can pull the trigger. And I can pull the trigger pretty fucking quick. I also put on a mini sight for it because I don't really like any of the half ring sights that they have. And I like to be able to see my targets when I'm sniping them. So, yeah. This is oftentimes also a pistol I would use if I'm packing a dragon off. And I just need to finish that one more shot, and I just whip it out, and bam, insta kill. So yeah, that is my sixth favorite gun, and now I will move on to the fifth one. Bada boopy. My fifth favorite is, of course, the Dragonov sniper rifle. Now, reasons why I have favorites with this weapon in particular is because of this was the weapon that got me into sniping originally, because I never really sniped up until this gun really was around <laughs> and it was the first gun I sniped with during alpha because I didn't like the intervention or the L89 because the Remington wasn't in alpha by the way I didn't like the VSS Ventores I didn't like the um, I'm trying to think oh yeah I didn't like the BFG back then either what I did really like was the Dragonov because it gave me multiple times to hit my targets because like I said I miss and it did the nice in-between of damage. It has really impressive accuracy. I like the sniper scope. It doesn't block my red laser with the crosshairs. And if you just flip it over to the delta sight, it's not a crucial shot. You don't have to take so long. You can just pull the trigger and go and go and go. <laughs> now, the downside is that the headshots at long range don't insta-kill anymore, which I think is stupid because... The damage is five, uh, 50, right? Well, if you look in the advanced stats, the headshot multiplier is 1.9. Basically saying that it's going to only be like a 90 headshot at range. Which I think is fucking gay. <sighs> but needless to say, I really enjoy this weapon. And the compensator is just there. I used to use an angled grip instead, but... I found that I like being able to aim down sights a bit quicker. So, that is my fifth favorite gun, and now on to the fourth. fourth favorite gun is the M16A4. Now, this weapon is powerful. That is why I enjoy it. It's powerful at range. It's powerful up close. It's a three to five hit kill gun, which on burst mode is lethal. Very lethal. Just a straight burst, and they're done. Now the reason why I have a flash hider is because I used to, um, when I use low mag sights, I need to be able to see where I'm shooting with a burst. Also I found that the compensator and uh, muzzle brake were kind of more damaging than helpful, and I didn't like having to use more bullets than necessary with the burst up close with the suppressor, so I just opt out for a flash hider or no barrel at all. The reason why I use a C79 sight is because it gives me magnification. And it actually helps lower recoil very slightly for me. It, it handles recoil better, in my opinion. Stubby grip and green laser. The green laser I use because of the crosshairs in there. I usually opt out for a red laser, though, when I'm using a low mag sight. Anyways, on to the third favorite. My third favorite weapon is the AUG A1. As you can see, I have a lot of experience with this weapon. <laughs> it is a very powerful weapon in the idea that it does damage over range very accurately, very strong, and very concise and consistently. It's basically the ultimate kind of like go-to weapon for long range assault for me personally, where I need to be adaptable in close quarters, long range, close quarters, long range, large open spaces, can't really get to cover, need this, need that. That is why I enjoy the AUG A1. It allows me to take out targets like on Ravod very, very easily. And that's why I really use it there a lot. Now, I've always had this comp I've always had this setup for ages. 
<laughs> for ages. It's the Compensator Green Laser Angled Grip and Comp Aim Point. Now the Comp Aim Point is important because it gives me a mix of further range and accuracy while also keeping recoil very low. So that's why I really enjoy this weapon. And on to my second favorite. My second favorite weapon in this game is the AN-94. Now I don't really use it a whole lot because I've been trying to branch out from it. I remember a time where I only used the AN-94 for so long. <laughs> I only used to have 900 kills with this. I got 3,000 kills in a matter of like, I think a month. I just played it for a month and only used this, no, not even that. I, I had to have been, it was less than that, maybe like two weeks or so. Two weeks straight, I just used this gun. Yeah, it was, uh, it got very bland, and so that's not my style. I don't like to only use a certain weapon. And yes, I pretty much only use this setup with very minor changes, like I changed the sight for close quarters, or I changed the compensator for a suppressor, or I would change the green laser to a red. Either way, this has pretty much been my setup for this gun for a long, long, long time. And it's the same damage rate as the, uh, M16A4, except it doesn't kill in three bullets right off the bat. It's two. Uh, I mean, four. <laughs> but with a headshot, you're done. And that initial burst it gives when it fires two rounds off, it's just insane. So that 600 automatic fire, like an ump, that is nothing compared to how fast it burst fires at the start. So whenever you're attacking someone, don't hold the trigger when they duck back behind. Instead, wait for them and just fire another burst, and it's like an insta-kill, guaranteed. Anyways, on to my number one weapon slot. Da -da 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 -da. It is the G36. This weapon, I have a lot of experience. In fact, I would use this weapon when I was grinding for my 6KDR. And then I use the A94 for my 7 KDR, a mix with this, and then the AUG. Those three, those three assault rifles have gotten me my 7.3 KDR. So this makes up, this weapon makes up <laughs> almost a twelfth of my total entire kills in the game, which is impressive. And I found lots of uh, attachments for it, different variants of using it. I use dual lasers just. For the fuck of it. Um, there's other ways you can use it as well. There's like a ton. Coyote Sight, Cobra Sight, uh, PBS-1 Suppressor, PBS-4 Suppressor, fucking ARS Suppressor. It, it goes on and on and it gets monotonous. So, I really, really enjoy this weapon, although I'm sad that a lot of the times in dice games it never got rolled. <laughs> but, those are my top 12 favorite weapons and the reason why 12 is because the new year, time, clock, get it? Yeah, maybe, no. Okay, anyways, this is Warpster77 signing out. Let me know what you guys think of my list and maybe if I missed a gun that you guys think or post your own list of your top 12 favorites and give me reasons why. Anyways, guys, this is Warpster77 signing out. Asta.